So recently I was asked, yo Tactics, when was the last time you ever got into a fight? To be honest, I don't really get into fights anymore. I like how fighting was back in the day. You know, you push the guy, the guy pushes you back, yo mama's a bitch, no your mama's a bitch. Then both of you yell out some outlandish shit to confuse the spectators into thinking that one of you guys have won. All. Day. But you know, nowadays dudes are getting shot or stabbed the fuck up over stupid shit. Like women. Cavemen used to fight fucking dinosaurs with their bare hands. But now we've got motherfuckers doing shit like this. Hey yo, what the fuck you looking at, nigga? What you want? You, you want some of this? Nigga? Oh, okay. You gonna swing at a nigga? You gonna swing at a nigga for real? Okay, okay. I got something for you, bitch. What's good, homie? What's good, homie? Huh? Huh? He ain't got shit to say now, huh, nigga? Ah, damn. Got the bullets. Nigga, hold on. The last time I got into a fight, sadly, it was over a girl. The fucked up thing was, it wasn't even a girl I was trying to pursue. It all started like this. Back when I was living in Scarborough, I remember my boy came over one day to chill. I then get a call from one of our homegirls asking us if we want to keep her company on her walk to work. At the time, we were like, cool, we ain't doing nothing but eating gushes and watching Smallville. So we hop on our bikes and we make our way to her place. We get there only to find that her parents aren't home. So we're chilling on the couch watching TV while she's getting ready. 20 minutes go by and this chick is still putting her damn clothes on. So of course my boy turns to me and says, yo man, I'm gonna go check on her. So he goes upstairs and I'm chilling. Now normally I'm not a cock blocker, but her parents had never met us before. And for them to walk into the house with two black dudes alone with their daughter, come on, y'all know that ain't a good look. So I go upstairs to check up on them and these bitches are looking at photos without me. I like looking at photos too, bitch. Five minutes later, we hear a car pull into the driveway. And before the car ignition could shut off, my boy was gone. I, on the other hand, got caught red-handed by her dad. Who the fuck are you? It, 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 it's Andrew, sir. The fuck you doing in my house? I was just gonna walk your, 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 your daughter to work. The fuck you mean, nigga? She got legs, she don't need your help. You know what? You're right. All right, little nigga. You get a pass. But if I see you around here again, I'm gonna kill you. I both shit and peed myself that day. So about three days later, I'm chilling with my boy again, and to our surprise, homegirl calls once again. She said she explained everything to her dad and it was a big misunderstanding, etc, etc. I shrug it off and tell her it's all good. Then she has the nerve to ask, So uh, do you guys want to walk me to work today? Bitch, are you crazy? So we get to her house ten minutes later. I know. I know. But we decide to play it safe and wait for her on the porch. We see the dad through the doorway, so we politely wave. He gets up and makes his way to the door. And the first thing he says to us is, I could have swore I told you I would kill you if I ever saw you around here again. Now either this guy's bipolar or we've just been set up. You've got 10 seconds to get off my porch. This motherfucker was obviously unstable. I didn't want any trouble, so we bounced. But before I have a chance to leave, this dude grabbed me from behind and throws me off the porch. I was like, yo, what the fuck happened to 10 seconds? I didn't even hear him counting. The thug in me came out that day. Yo, what the fuck is your problem, homie? Are you talking back to me, nigga? Yeah, bitch. I guess he didn't really like being called a bitch too much. Because the next thing I know, this dude starts choking me. You're too close, man. Yo, I swung at this dude with everything I had. Bop! Connected right to his face. Glasses flying everywhere and shit. I felt live. I must have celebrated way too early because before I knew it, this dude got up and fucking punched <laughs> the shit out of me. The entire family had to come out and bear hug this dude just so he wouldn't kill me. My homegirl ran out to me crying like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm not gonna lie, it hurt. But I learned a valuable lesson that day. Women will get you killed. So fellas, think smart. 